What's up guys, Invisible Jiu Jitsu here, sit back. We're gonna do a little choke from side control top. We're gonna to use our own lapel. So, Sid is in side control here, head this way. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start turning and threatening mount, okay? So I'm here, I give him some crush with the shoulder. If you wanna look at the shoulder of justice video that I filmed previously, I'll put that up in the corner, show you what's going on here. Boom, I'm giving him some crush. I'm gonna open up my jacket now, okay? I'm gonna feed my jacket to my hand. I'm gonna block his hip, I'm gonna turn, and I'm gonna choke him real bad, okay? Now, depending on how far out your jacket is, if it's all the way out, you might have to turn a bit more, you might have to raise the hips a bit more, okay? Um, but it's very, very simple. It's just like that. So, I'm here, I'm hitting my shoulder of justice, boom, crushing him. I'm gonna turn a little bit, and I'm gonna start opening up my gi, okay? And I'm gonna take all the slack out, and I'm gonna feed it to my cross-facing hand. Now, this doesn't need to be super deep. Okay, and in fact, it's gonna hinder me if it's super deep because I can't turn, okay? I just wanna grip right down at the end, take a nice fistful, fistful of ghee material here, and now I'm gonna block his hip, okay? Because as I turn, he'll turn with me. And I never get the choke, okay? There's a few ways he can stop this. He can stop my head from crossing to the other side, so he keeps like a pressure here, and I, I can't quite get it, or he can follow me with his hips. So, as soon as I get this, what I want to do is I want to cross my head. Okay, get past his arm, walk, walk, and then I'm going to raise as I cut his throat. So I'm cutting his throat, I'm pulling this around as I raise my hips. Okay, when I drop my chest, my chest is going to pull my own D tight across his neck. Now, I've seen this a number of times on YouTube and I've seen it a number of times taught wrong. The wrong way is to use this lapel. And I've seen black belts teach this. There's no real power here, okay? As I start to go, maybe it works. Maybe, on my grandmother. If Sid takes his head in this gap, it's gone, okay? It must be with this lapel. So, we're here, crush, I can turn if I need to, boom, feed. I've also seen people look this way and hook the goon in their mouth and feed with the mouth. I've seen that, okay? It's done. So, from here, the finishing mechanics, once this is set, block, and we walk parallel to him. Now I want to put my head on the ground, so as I'm doing that, I'm doing this. I'm extending my arm, pulling the gi around his neck and lifting his head off the mat. If we do all of that, it's gonna be a tight choke. If I try the wrong way with this lapel, it just doesn't work, okay? So, very simple collar choke using my own lapel from side control. Now of course, if any of this ever fails, I'm trying to pass this and then he starts blocking my head. Okay, that's cool. I will mount and now I've wrapped up his arm nice. I'm gonna start attacking head and arm or whatever from there. So, we've got some options. Thank you very much, Sid. If you like the video, give the video a like. Please share with all your friends. Build up the Invisible Jiu Jitsu Network. Thank you very much, Sid. Thanks for watching, guys.